All right, Mary. So now you're going to hear those sentences that I just want you to repeat back, okay? All right. Mary Ellen Dietrich remembers thinking years ago the sound on her TV was going out. It wasn't the sound on the TV. It was just me going broke. <laughs> Over time, she had lost more than 80% of her hearing in one ear. She was afraid to drive her car and resigned herself to being isolated at home. Three doctors in the Amarillo, Texas area where she lives told Mary Ellen there was nothing she could do about it. I just wasn't satisfied with that. I thought, I have got to keep trying. That's when she found a different answer, many miles away, in the hearing specialist at OU Physicians in Oklahoma City. Dr. Angela Gathers says many people, like Mary Ellen, slowly give up on life's greatest joys. We miss a lot of things with family and friends because in that process of not hearing and understanding, we just withdraw or we sit there and say yes when we really, we don't know what they're saying. For patients like Mary Ellen, a cochlear implant, an electronic device that stimulates the nerves in the inner ear, can help. The first part of the implant is surgically placed under the skin above the ear. The second part, a transmitter and speech processor, is worn externally. At first, instead of acoustic sounds, patients hear electronic stimulation. We always know what generation they grew up in by what characters they used to. It may sound like Darth Vader or it sounds like I'm in a tin can. But with training, the brain learns to hear again and turns those strange sounds into words. What was that like? Amazing. <laughs> it was just unreal. Mary Ellen's friends have noticed a complete turnaround. They have all said, you're talking more, you're hearing more, you're interacting more. Um, it, it's changed. It's just opened up my, my life. You give husbands and wives and grandkids back, a grandparent, or you give kids back their parents because they're active in life again. Within two weeks, Mary Ellen's hearing comprehension doubled. She's not afraid anymore and tells others they don't have to suffer in silence. With the cochlear implant, I'll hear until the day I die or the battery goes dead. This is Teresa Green reporting.